everyone, it's your girl Lauren here hosting Craftopia's Quick Crafts. You guys, today's craft is so freaking cute. I'm, I can't get over it, I'm not over it, I'll never be over it. And personally, I might be a little biased, but it's pretty cute for obvious reasons. <laughs> Super cute crafted frame, but that's my man. And I think we look pretty cute together. All in all, I love this craft and it's quickly become one of my favorites. So free up some popsicle sticks in any way that you please. I know this is controversial, but personally, I'm a banana popsicle type of girl. So here is what we'll be working with today. Four jumbo craft sticks. You can also use standard size craft and popsicle sticks for a slightly smaller frame. A hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. An alternative is standard white craft glue or wood glue will also work. You'll just need to allow for a longer dry time. Yarn a small clothespin, and twine or string. Okay, so I'm gonna start by overlapping and gluing down four popsicle sticks into a square. You can opt to align the edges of the popsicle sticks totally even like this, or if you want, you can overlap them a little bit and the edges, once they're wrapped with our yarn, actually resemble little hearts. So you can see little hearts right here. So I'm gonna go for the heart option because I think that's really cute. And I'm just gonna use a dab of hot glue in between each stick. And same thing on this bottom edge here. Next, we're gonna wrap these side of the frames with yarn. Starting with this one, I'm gonna tie a knot and then secure it down with a little bit of hot glue. So I'm gonna use my hot glue gun just to add a dot of glue underneath the knot that I made just to hold it super secure. Give that a few seconds to dry and then you can go ahead and you can start wrapping your yarn around that first side of the frame. Now I'm going to wind around the popsicle sticks and just trying to keep it as taut and as much tension as possible so that it lays flat side by side. Okay, so I've gone the entire length of the first side of the frame and similar to how we started it, I'm gonna tie a knot again just using my last loop and add a little dab of hot glue so that it stays secure and nice and taut. All right, so we've got our first side of the frame completed and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process on the remaining three edges of our frame. So again, I'm gonna tie a knot to secure the starting point of our yarn and just add a dot of hot glue underneath that starting knot. And continuing to wrap my yarn all the way down the length of the popsicle stick so that it lays flat side by side. Now that I finished wrapping all four sides of my frame, I've got a smaller piece here just to make the hanging loop of the frame. So I'm gonna tie two knots, one at each end, and we're gonna glue those at adjacent corners so that we can make the hanging portion so your frame can be mounted. So I'm just gonna add a dot of hot glue here and press the knot that you made into it and trim off any excess. Same thing on the other side a dot of hot glue at the adjacent corner. Press the knot into it. And that is gonna make our hanging loop for the top of the frame. And our last and final step is to add a clothespin and I'm going to add it to the top center of the frame, just on top of our wrapped yarn. And that's gonna be the spot where you hold your photo. And I'm gonna press my clothespin into that glue dot and hold down tight for a few seconds so it's really, really secure. And you are ready to hang a photo or some art. And having the clothespin makes it so easy to swap out your photos at any time. If you loved making this craft with me today, be sure to look out for more creative crafting on Craftopia. It's a new Max Original series that features some of the most incredible crafts made by the greatest young crafters in the world. I'll see you next time.